Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career, and as uh, weekly general tarot readings indeed, they are to show your Leo collective uh, energy, and as well uh, Leo's potential. So if you don't like it, or if you do not uh, agree with it, by all means, do whatever you feel is uh, is best for you. So the first reading that I'm going to do is going to be in terms of your love life, uh, Leo. And the first one is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have Justice, uh, followed by uh, the Seven of Cups. And the last one here, that is to be the Two of Cups. And I was wondering, I mean, you are the only sign here with uh, these cards that has a real potential to make a reconciliation throughout the week. I mean, these cards are just reeking on it, okay? Just to give you an explanation, we do have the Queen of Pentacles as a prime card, which pretty much speaks that whatever potentials you have abandoned, uh, whatever situations you have abandoned, or, or you have uh, severed your ties with, you know, you walked away from or whatever, or you have been laid off, the potential there have not been unfolded entirely. So you still have what to dig into there. You still have what to expect. You still have what to accomplish, okay? That's what uh, the card points. And uh, the Seven of Cups into the third position, it pretty much points that whatever disappointments you do face in your either current relationship or into your either severances back in the days, uh, they were uh, a disappointment so they can ground you. Or in other words, those disappointments pointed you the right path. And now as you do know the right path, this time around, you are not going to repeat the same mistakes back again. That happened, which caused, say, uh, a breakup, which caused, say, uh, a disappointment from your partner. Points of conflict, you know, or merely, or nearly, I'm sorry, um, destroyed your marriage, your relationship, etc, etc. Now, the thing is that, however, that we do have justice there into the second position. And that card, I don't like that card having it, uh, in terms of love especially. Uh, because in terms of job, I, it's okay to have it. I mean, these things happen time to time. But I do believe that love is a game that resides on giving and taking. And with the justice there into the second position, that card points that the balance in the situation, it's not present. Meaning that one needs to give more than actually is going to take. Okay, so say if you do want the reconciliation to happen, you have to be the one that gives more. Okay, but if you are chased to make a reconciliation, then the other one needs to give more. Regardless what it is, what the situation is here, um, you have to make your peace with it. And if you do not agree with it, like I said, you do want a reconciliation, but you are not willing to give anything, then by all means do whatever you feel is best. But if you do want something, you have to pay the price, right? I mean, this is how the nature goes. Uh, so by the end of the week, uh, should you play by the rules as the card suggests, because we don't have major arcana, so the final card, which is the two of cups, uh, it's hi highly varies in terms of how you're going to tackle with the previous cards. Uh, you will try to uh, unravel the unfound potential. You're willing to give more than you're going to take, and you're willing to look the other way in terms of the disappointment you uh, you met. Okay. 
then um, the balance is going to be restored okay with the two of cups so <clears throat> The lack of balance is going to be only throughout the duration of the week, but then the balance takes place once again. It's, like I said, is going to be restored. At that point, it's very important to know that everybody needs to make their path, or rather like to traverse their distance. You can't traverse the distance from your, for your partner, nor your partner can tra traverse your distance that you have to do uh, in order to kind of bind together. So uh, while throughout the week is going to be good, for example, or is going to be acceptable, I would say, for you to play the game hard to get, after this week passes, that game is going to be unacceptable, neither by you, neither by your partner, by your person of interest, or by your ex that you may try to reconcile for throughout the week. Now, another note that I want to put in here it is that um, if, say, your wife messed up really bad and you are not just only contemplated, but you say almost decided to ask for a divorce or to file for a divorce here, uh, those cards are urging you to give it another go. It's going to be a mighty effort. It's going to be a colossal effort. In fact, as the justice says, because you will have to give way more than you are going to get from it. Yeah, you know, uh, you have to give your forgiveness. Um, after that, when the balance uh, restores, uh, uh, these cards are sure that uh, the, say, this thing is not going to happen again. Say if your wife cheated on you or say your husband cheated on you, if you do forgive them, they're not going to do it again. I mean, they're not going to cheat again. And you will have your relationship balanced and with a cumulative love that is going on in between you two. But if you do not find the strength to do so, I mean, to forgive, well, by all means, file for a divorce. Okay. It's just the cards here are suggesting that you should give it one last chance, okay? And for those that are single, um, again, person from your past is highly likely to reappear on the horizon. Maybe they have disappointed you back then, but back then is not now, so you have to look toward the future that you can actually be together rather than to be dived in or, um, yeah, it's dived plummet in the past and not being able to escape from it. So that was your love tarot reading, um, Leo. And now let's have a look how your career is going to be into the upcoming week. Right, so in terms of career, the first one that we do have, wow, that will be the uh, Queen of Wands. One of the best that you can have there. Uh, moving next, we do have the Eight of Cups, followed by uh, the uh, Chariot card. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Five of Cups. So it does look like that you're going to save the day or save the week, should I say. So the Queen of Cups pretty much points that you are really going to shine with your skills and above everything else with the understanding of the issue, okay? And knowing what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Uh, it's, it that shows that you are going to shine with an acute business sense for the business that you are working for. Or if you are looking for a job, those cards are just pointing that um, your skills or your knowledge, your set of, uh, of assets is going to be highly requested at certain place. And uh, most likely you are going to get a job that a bit exceeds your expectations. Okay. To a point where you may kind of like doubt that you will be able to, to handle it, but you will. So that being said, um, we do have this, the Eight of Cups into the, uh, into the second position. And that card there pretty much points that you should not settle for unfortunate situations. You always need to seek for the best and for a perfection 
food throughout the week. Well, perfection is a pretty strong word. It's more like to, uh, whenever you do not like something and, and how it develops, you should seek to fix it, you should seek to change it, you should seek to make it in a way that it is acceptable for you. That is very important. You do have as well very important weapon here throughout the week, Leo, and that is your understanding of the human nature, the um, physical human nature, meaning that you will have a profound understanding what your colleague needs, what your colleague agenda is, what your colleague best attitude and best virtues lies. Therefore, and as well your supervisors and your boss, therefore you will be able to use everybody towards your agenda. To a point, uh, use them in a positive way uh, without actually risking any of your plans to be messed up by somebody that you have placed a hopes at. Now, that being said, we do have the chariot into the third position and, oh my God, uh, another awesome card. Uh, that means that you pretty much are going to be, uh, how can I say, recognized for your skills. You are going to be recognized as well for your performance. And uh, the best thing about the chariot, it is that... Uh, should you not be scared of challenges, should you not be scared of, uh, of predicaments, there is literally nothing that you cannot deal with for throughout the week. So if you ask me, that is the week where you do undertake that very difficult project that nobody else dare to, everybody thinks that it's going to fail and your boss is just trying to, uh, to simply resolve the matter and is seeking for that one person to show capable, to show that they have what it takes, to show that they are worthy for, say, future promotion or a raise, okay? So, uh, aside from that, in a very uh, lesser scene, the chariot here points that throughout the week you are going to uh, be enjoying the look of your hard work and uh, and the recognition as well. And uh, some minor wish fulfillments are as well very, very possible. But above everything else, whatever challenge you face, the chariot is a sign that you can and you should overcome it, should you arm yourself with stubbornness, determination, and an iron will. And yes, stubbornness. You, It's very important for you to be stubborn. And uh, the week here for you ends with uh, the uh, Five of Cups, which is a bit uh, disappointment for you, that is, that I'm seeing that card there. And it points that uh, at the end of the week, you would wish to be further than you are going to find yourself at. OK, so you would have wished to be uh, to to have done more job and more work to have accomplished more things than you actually are going to find yourself accomplishing. But um, that being said, the five of cups here points that um, what can I say you you could have done just so much. I mean, you have time for just so much. But from there, the path or rather like the uh yeah the the way of accomplishing your goals is going to be pretty clear i mean should you not abandon those goals those goals are pretty much set in stone for you or do you have them in the back those that are looking for a job like said you are your skills the set of skills you possess or influence or charisma or whatever you are working with is going to be high in demand somewhere. So if you are not looking for a job, but you need a job, I suggest you to start to do so for you are to be spotted, okay? You are to be, um, how can I say? Yeah, right, spotted probably is the word where somebody's gonna see you and will say, well, probably that's, that's, our, that's our person, okay? That's our guy, that's our woman, that's the person we're looking for. And uh, most likely you are going to uh, get a proposition. Uh, in that line of uh, in that line of thoughts, the proposition uh, may not be exactly the one that you are expecting for a, for the reason that is going to be just a trial one. Okay, uh, in a six months from now, in a three months, or in a six months from now, probably they are going to offer you much better conditions. But for now, you have to get you have to take whatever you can get. So that being said, uh, Leo, that was your a weekly general tarot reading. Uh, hopefully, tarot readings, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them, guys. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.